Different parts of a ship explained. A ship is like a floating city having several different parts. However, we can't imagine a ship without its three main parts, the hull, an engine room and a navigation bridge. A ship comprises both visible as well as invisible parts. To understand parts of a ship, one must have to go through some common terms. The most forward part of a ship is called a bow. The left-hand side of the ship is referred to as port, whereas the right side is called starboard. Likewise, the front side is termed as forward and the back side is astern. Now let us discuss some main parts which are common to all types of ships. Monkey Island Monkey Island is a sort of deck located at the topmost accessible height of the ship and just above the bridge. Bridge The ship's bridge is the commanding station of a ship. It controls the ship movement through its navigational equipment. Funnel A funnel or stacks is a chimney on a vessel used to discharge engine and boiler smoke. Lifting of the exhaust gases, clear from the deck, is the constitutional purpose of the funnel. Accommodation The accommodation area is the house for crews and lives. It has all the amenities, including offices, gym, crew cabins, hospital, salon, recreation room, common rooms, laundry, and galley. It is a necessary part of a ship and facilitates space for relaxing, medical facility and food courts. Funnel Deck The funnel releases exhaust gases into the atmosphere from the engine exhaust room of the ship. It has a similar function to chimneys in factories. Boat Deck The deck floor covers the ship hull structure. There can be multiple decks or deck sections on a ship. The deck at the top, which bears maximum exposure to weather, is the main deck or weather deck. Mast The mast is a rangy spar arrangement that is elevated more or less vertically to the center line of a ship. Flying Bridge It also serves as an operating station for the officer and crew of the watch. Stem The frontmost part of the boat or ship's bow is termed as the stem of the ship. The keel itself is extended up to gunwale to form the curved edge called the ship's stem. Foxhole. The foxhole is one of the foremost parts of the ship of length less than 7% of the total deck length. It was initially used in military vessels, in which the soldiers used foxholes to take defensive positions. Foredeck. The foredeck is the forward part of a weather deck, between the superstructure and the foxhole superstructure. Bulbous bow. It is a jut-out bulb at the bow of the vessel just below the with L. It cuts the water and tweaks the water flow around the hull, increasing the vessel's speed, fuel efficiency and stability. 12 to 15% of better fuel efficiency is observed in the vessel with the bulbous bow. It also increases the buoyancy of the onward part of the vessel, which reduces pitching up to some extent. Stern The stern is an aft-end structure designed to provide low resistance, high propulsion efficiency, and avoid vibrations. It is the rearmost part of a ship that keeps the water out. Rudders and propellers are hanged to the stern. The stern can be shaped flat, canoe-like, tapered, sharp to serve the purpose of cutting the water in its way. Coop deck. It serves as a roof to the cabin constructed in the aft of the ship. It facilitates the captain and helmsman to supervise the entire working crew. But in modern ships, the poop decks are provided either in the center of the ship or on the starboard. Side thrusters. These are somewhat like a propeller and fitted on either side of the bow of the ship. It helps in maneuvering ships at a slow speed in congested waters near ports or canals. Side thrusters influence the total running cost of a ship to a greater extent. Rudder. Without steering, we can't move a vehicle in the desired direction, so the propeller propels the ship, and the rudder steers the ship. The rudder is a flat hollow structure housed in the aft of the propeller. Propeller. It pushes the seawater backwards, and, in turn, the seawater helps the ship move forward. It is the most important part of the ship without which a ship can't move. Emergency generator room. When the main supply goes out of order, a small separate generator supplies electricity for emergency loads. Ballast tanks. The compartments maintained specially to carry water, which serves the purpose of ballasting and stabilizing the vessel, are termed ballast tanks. Bunker tanks. The tanks on the ships used to store fuel and lube oils on ships are known as bunker tanks. Ship cargo gear, derrick, cranes. Derricks, cranes, are used to lift and carry the safe working load on a ship. Cargo hold. Enclosed spaces to retain and store cargo or freight containers carrying coal, grain and salt are referred to as cargo holds. 
The main function of the cargo hold is to preserve cargo when it is transported to the destination. Hatch cover. To prevent the cargo storage from spoilage, especially to make storage spaces airtight and watertight, hatch covers are required. Freeboard. Freeboard can be defined as the distance measured from the waterline to the higher edge of the freeboard plating, deck plating at the sides of amidships. Hull. The hull is a watertight vessel's body that may be open or partially covered with a deck. Hull has several watertight decks and bulkheads as the major transverse membrane. The intermediate member of the hull consists of girders, webs and stringers. Deck House It is a house-like structure on the upper deck. The ship, an important trading source through seaways, may be made up of different styles and sizes. Some parts are called essential parts, common to all ships, but others are just accessories to provide luxurious or improved shipping. All the parts which form the ship should be checked for proper working, and precautions should be taken for risky equipment. Thanks for watching.